Never in a million years did I dream I'd be piloting a self-driving truck. <laughs> I only wish I could take my hands off this wheel because this wheel is doing all its work. <laughs> Autonomous technology is disrupting most industries. And as the trucking sector adopts self-driving tech, humans with industry expertise play a critical role in helping to bridge the gap between the test lab and the real world. Beverly is one of these truckers. I firmly believe we need safer roads. Trucks aren't interested in alcohol. They don't get fatigue, distraction, and on and on and on. With 96% of all automotive accidents caused by human error, Beverly believes she has a role to play in making the roads safer. This whole mission is to prove that self-driving trucks not only can be made and can work, but that they can be safer than human drivers. Never in a million years did I think I would ever be getting to work for a tech company, making that great technology that moves our world forward and getting to be a truck driver still. That's my dream come true. Once again, technology is changing work as we know it. Are you ready? These are the blue, white, and no-collar jobs of today and the future. How's it going back there? Is our software all set up? We are just about ready to head out. You the man? All right. Everything's looking good. I'm ready to fire up the engine now. You guys ready for that? Ready for takeoff. This self-driving technology is still so new that a licensed driver is required to be present making Beverly a new type of driver, a safety driver. I've often said that my driving career started when I was, I think, seven years old, and I went to Disneyland, and I got to drive a little car, and that was just the biggest thrill of my life. And from that day on, I couldn't wait to be old enough to drive. I ended up going into truck driving, and after 20 years of delivering gasoline to gas stations all over the Bay Area, that was when I found the Embark job. They hire professionals that have stellar safety records for years and years on end. Everybody ready? Here we go, enabling. I think of my job title as no longer driver or truck driver, but safety is my first name now. The primary system that's driving the truck is computer algorithms and specially designed software. My job as a safety driver is to pretty much be the human always at the wheel, to take over if anything's not working right or unusual edge cases happen. Beverly drives the same 57-mile loop almost every day, multiple times a day. And each loop tests and refines maneuvers developed by the engineering team. This route gives us a little bit of everything. So we're putting our technology to the test in all the roughest ways we can throw at it. <laughs> the truck keeps getting smarter, it's machine learning. We have radars, lidars, cameras all over the place. Sensors that are constantly checking everything around us and gathering data. I'm not steering at all right now. Here comes our exit. You see the blinker just came on, I didn't touch it. The truck is taking the exit. Our brakes came on, everything worked just right. If it didn't, I would be reporting on that. This is why her experience is so important. Any improvement she thinks the AI needs, she reports to an autonomous vehicle operator. This is another new job Embark has created to test their technology. Pretty much I take notes on how the truck is performing and escalate the issues, troubleshoot in the most basic sense, uh, just to keep the truck back up and running again in autonomous mode. That way I can give the best feedback to the engineers on how to improve the software. Now there's an intervention because that car just pulled onto the highway very suddenly in front of me. Never know what you're gonna see out here. <laughs> I get to not just interface with the road as a truck driver, I get to interface with the engineers who are designing this system. And they have a great interest in what I know and see as a driver out on the road and my experience as a truck driver, it's more integrated and it makes me feel like I have a purpose in life now. 
more than just delivering that load from point A to point B. <laughs> Just a year or so after I started in Embar, I took up the hobby of drumming. It gives me a lot of joy. I can get lost in it for hours. Drumming was never an option for Beverly in the past. Long haul truckers spend 50 to 70 hours a week, 300 days a year, with an average salary of 64K. Many truckers struggle with the home life sacrifices required of the job. They don't get to see their kids grow up. They don't get to be home with their little dogs. All of that is hard on a person's psyche. And there's loneliness. It's beyond what's normal for a healthy mind. Working at Embark, Beverly not only makes a higher salary, but she finally has a better work-life balance and she can't get enough of it. Now I'm working a much more regular schedule. It's just made amazing differences in my life. My partner was ecstatic when I got this job because she knew that this job would give me back to her. I was used to always being alone and suddenly she was here all the time. <laughs> but it ended up being really good. I was afraid that maybe we wouldn't get along. And it's nice having her home all the time. Self-driving technology is estimated to replace 90% of long-haul trucking, but safety drivers like Beverly will continue to play a crucial role in its improvement and implementation for decades to come. And other drivers will have a role to play as well. Though the long-haul middle miles will be handled autonomously, human drivers will still be needed for local delivery pickups and drop-offs. I'm at this cusp between the truck driver world and the technology world. And a lot of truckers, their very first reaction is, what? That'll take away all our jobs. And we tell them why it's not a threat, how it's filling this niche of really, really desperately needed drivers uh, on the long haul. And that's what we're here to, to fill in. I'm trying to prove that this technology is as safe as anything we've ever seen on the road, being a part of the front of the data gathering that's making those changes happen. That's just, bam, that is so cool. <laughs> Are we ready to go? <laughs> yep. <laughs> All right. That was awesome.